Hello everyone, my name is David Allison and I'm the coordinator for the Mobile Solutions Development Program at Conestoga College, or MSD as we call it, and I'd like to introduce you to the program. MSD is a four semester graduate certificate program which includes a one semester exploration of career management or an optional co-op in the mobile software industry. The program will offer students a strong practical background in mobile solutions design and development that encompasses different devices, different operating systems, database and network infrastructures, as well as coverage of software quality and security aspects to mobile solutions development. The optional co-op stream includes one co-op work term instead of a guided career management course. I'm just going to sw switch over to uh, some slides that I want to share with you that have some more information about our program. So the first thing I want to uh, share with you is that this program is a bring your own device program. So all students entering the program are expected to bring their own device that they've purchased and own. Uh, so it's up to the students to, to have a computer that meets our minimum specified requirements and it is up to students to maintain that laptop. So if they or something were to happen to it, uh, you need to replace it. Uh, and you want to have that laptop ready to go for your first day of class. It's a 14 week semester, which sounds like a lot, but it's actually not uh, a ton of time for per semester. So we want to make sure we hit the ground running and uh, we're ready to go week one. So the minimum support, uh, minimum specifications for our MSD program uh, are not hugely strenuous on, uh, on a computer. Uh, it is a Windows based uh, program, so you want to make sure that you have Windows 10. Uh, if you have an Apple device already that you, you want to bring, uh, you can do that, but you want to make sure that you have Windows on that device uh, with uh, another piece of software like Parallels, for example, can do that. Uh, and the college does have Windows 10 keys that you will be provided with uh, as a student, so you'll be able to put Windows on your Apple machine uh, and that will work for you. Uh, i3 processor or newer, which isn't uh, that high end of a processor, minimum eight gigabytes of memory, um, not a very graphical uh, intensive course, so you don't need a, a fancy graphics card, which often drives up prices of laptops, um, so that's good news. Um, for a hard drive, we do recommend a solid state drive, uh, that would just it will make your computer so much faster, uh, and will give you, uh, will make your life a lot easier over the, the four semesters that you're in the program. Wireless network card, pretty standard these days. Screen size, kind of up to you. Um, I'd recommend not getting a massive screen. It's just harder to lug around on your back. Um, USB ports, also very standard. Warranty, uh, if you can get one, is nice just in case your computer breaks, you can quickly have it replaced. Um, and the last point there, uh, some computers don't come with an RJ45 jack anymore, and that's fine if your computer doesn't have one. Uh, I would purchase a USB to Ethernet uh, adapter or a dongle of some sort that plugs into your USB port and allows you to connect the network uh, card or network uh, cable to your laptop. Just gives you a better uh, connection in the labs if you have to download, say, a really big file. Sometimes the tools and images we use can be uh, you know, a terabyte in size, for example, and it's nice to have a wired option to get that downloaded fast. I just want to give you a quick virtual tour of our campus. I'm going to share that with you. So here is our, the, the front of our brand new uh, Waterloo campus. Okay, so it's a brand new building, just opened. Uh, it's beautiful, uh, state of the art, fully stocked with all the equipment you'll need. Um, located in a very good location on the corner of University and Weaver, if you know anything about the city. Uh, but right down the street here, University Avenue, uh, is Wilfrid Laurier University and Waterloo University. So it's, it's, an, it's an incredible hub of research and education. And we cannot be better situated in, in Canada, really. Going into the building, this is a cafeteria, uh, a very popular location for students to sit and relax. Um, there's an outdoor courtyard there. Uh, this is areas for you to stop and eat. There's that blue checkered wall here, uh, that line right in the middle of the screen right now. Right around that corner is the Tim Hortons. You can't see it from this angle, but that is a very popular location. Uh, those TVs there are hooked up to video game systems that students can play in their downtime to relax. There's ping pong tables, just other areas to uh, socialize uh, with your fellow students and, and take your mind off your studies for a little while. In the back here by that blue checkered wall, that's the library area as well, which you can go and study. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show you uh, is a typical bring your own device lab that you would be working in uh, as a student in this program. The, the bring your own device labs, uh, you can see the size of them here. They hold about 35 to 40 students, depending on the, the room. Um, and they, they all look a little bit different, but they're typically like this, where you have um, a bunch of tables uh, with uh, 
spaces for students to sit, uh, plugs for you to plug your laptop in. There's a network ports there if you need one. You'll notice that there are uh, monitors or projectors on every wall for the professors to use. So anyone, you can see what they're talking about or demonstrating from anywhere in the room. Uh, and yeah, so that's sort of the typical lab. They're all a little bit different. Uh, there are some labs that have uh, more group table, or sort of round tables where you can sit on and work on a project as well. Some careers uh, from the, the MST program, mobile software developer is sort of the, the, the tried and true, the bread and butter uh, career that you think of when you think of MST, um, but not the only one. Uh, mobile apps and mobile applications, mobile development uh, is really everywhere these days. Everybody has a phone, everybody has all these different devices. Um, so lots and lots of careers out there in this field. Mobile application developer, web application developer. So if you're not making a, uh, a native app and but more of a web application, uh, lots of jobs in that as well. App tester and app designer, a mobile solutions tester, software quality control professional, or entrepreneur. A lot of people uh, in this program uh, that I know have gone and started their own little companies based on an app or an idea that they've developed either in the course or, or on their own, but using the skills uh, from the program to uh, start their own business and start their own service that they can provide and, and, and make some revenue from. Some frequently asked questions that I get a lot as coordinator of this program. Uh, what are the admission requirements for MSD? That's a big one that people like to know. Um, you wanna have an Ontario College Diploma uh, advanced diploma or degree or equivalent if, you, if it's not from Ontario from a different another province or another country um, that has an average uh, of B okay assessed to Ontario standards again if you're not from Ontario uh, in an area so it is a MSc is a grad cert okay so it is a graduate level certificate so you need to have some degree or diploma in something uh, before entering this program and it needs to be in either computer science or software engineering or computer engineering or some sort of technology field um, if you have a background that isn't one of those three specifically, as long, it will be considered as long as it has a significant degree of software development in the curriculum. Okay, so you can, you can uh, check with me or you can check with admissions, uh, provide uh, information about the program you're in, what courses were taken, and we can assess that to see if it has enough of a software development uh, background to qualify for our program. Okay, could be, it, because it is a grad cert, we do uh, assume students coming into it have software computer development uh, background. Applicants with the documents or transcripts from educational institutions from another country outside of Canada will need to have those documents evaluated for equivalency at an approved uh, provider of credential evaluation services. Okay, so if you're from another country, uh, make sure that you uh, have your transcript uh, uh, compared for equivalency in Canada. Is co-op guaranteed? So co-op is a very popular option and I get lots of questions about co-op all the time. Uh, so no, co-op employment is not guaranteed by this program. Uh, there's a number of available co-op seats each semester, which is determined by the labor market. Okay, so that number can fluctuate up and down a little bit. So how many seats are available? As well, every student accepted into the co-op stream must meet certain academic eligibility requirements. So there are certain requirements, a certain average you need to meet uh, in order to be uh, looked at for a candidacy in, in co-op. And then after that, there are only so many seats available. Once you're accepted into the co-op stream, okay, the students are then required to conduct an independent co-op job search, looking for that job that you'll do over your co-op. Okay, so once you get accepted to the stream, you still need to find a job. Um, obviously, that we have a department of co-op education that will help you. We provide um, job postings and, and teach you things about interviews and cover letters and, and resumes and that sort of thing as well to help you. Uh, but the actual uh, doing the interview and, and, and finding the job and getting a job uh, will be up to the student as well. So I mentioned that we have a co-op and a non-co-op uh, version of the program. So how do they differ? Uh, both the co-op and non-co-op streams are four semesters long. Okay, so no matter which one you take, uh, your program will be 16 months in length. Um, so students that are in the co-op stream and acquire a job during their th level three semester, they will go out and work for those four months in their co-op jobs. Students that don't uh, have a co-op uh, job for that uh, in their program, um, either they didn't apply or they didn't acquire one, uh, will take a guided career management course instead, okay? Uh, this course, students build theoretical knowledge to manage their careers in a series of 15 different workshops and apply this theory by developing networks of in industry professionals. You enhance your technical and transferable skills through weekly exercises, um, things like networking, uh, how to interact with industry professionals, um, that we work on a few short-term projects uh, and you establish career goals and your objectives as well. So it's sort of uh, the skills that people in the co-op are learning uh, just as part of the job, the, the real world experience that you gain from working. Uh, th this program is a really good alternative to co-op. It's not a substitute, but it's an alternative where we teach you these things that uh, will help you hit the ground running when you graduate and are looking for a job. What time will my classes be is a question I get a lot of as well. Um, your classes will be will differ. Every semester is different on, on exactly when your classes line up. 
the earliest classes will begin as eight in the morning um, and they can go as late as 8 p.m. Okay, you generally wouldn't have a day where you're there, um, you know, the full 12 hours. Uh, but in MSC in particular, just so you're aware, uh, we do have a lot of very specialized instructors, okay, in, in the mobile uh, development field uh, who teach at nights a lot. So students should expect to have classes scheduled uh, later in the day, so up to 8 p.m. So just be aware of that. Um, so my contact information uh, is here on the screen, okay, is, is dallison at conestocac.on.ca. Uh, if you have any questions about the program, feel free to email me, drop me a line there. That's the best way to get a hold of me, and I will get right back to you as soon as possible. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you are interested in the program, and I hope to see you uh, at Conestoga and in our program and uh, having a really enjoying it. So thanks, everybody, for watching.